hello YouTube, this is CreativePixels95 with yet again another Pixelmator tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how to create, a, let's say, a wallpaper or a simple picture with grungy text. So let's go ahead and open it up. Drag that aside. And first of all, we need to modify our tools bar. So go ahead and click the Pixelmator um, thingy above and click Preferences and go to Tools and Painting. And you want to drag this pencil icon here because we need this later. So to make this a bit more interesting, choose your gradients and double click it to show, show your gradients. And we need a gradient, let's say, from yellow to orange to make the background a bit more interesting and hold on shift to make it accurate. And we want to add some noise by clicking filter, stylize and where is it? Noise. To make it a bit more interesting and make sure monochrome is set and set it to one or uh, two is already too much. Let's choose one percent for our amount and click OK. So next we want to create a text layer by clicking the text tool and clicking somewhere here. And uh, that's a bit small and we need a special font called Arial Black and a size of maybe 200 and now type in some sort of text. I'm just using going to use my channel name. Why did it change it to Lucida Grande or somewhere? Okay. Let's make it a bit bigger. Oh, that's already too much. Yeah. Let's say 250. Yeah, that's perfect. Now click View and Show Grid because we want this in the middle. Uh, we want this to be in the middle. So go ahead and drag. So once you drag it to the middle, you can also deselect the grid again, so we can move on. And we need now a new layer. And now we need the pen, because this is important. The difference between the pen and the brush is that that what we do with the brush is in, let's say, pixels, and a brush, let's say, looks like a brush. So here's, and by the way, we need white. To show you the difference, this is the brush and this is our pen. To give you an idea why I need this. So, double click the pen. And we need the grunge brushes um, preset. And choose this one, the third. And go ahead and let's say spread some spots right here, just like this. So something like this. And you can also um, refine that by what was that? Or this? I believe it was this, the second one, to add some smaller spots. So no gap. No, go back to your text layer and hold Command and click the um, first layer. And press backspace. Oh, I forgot something very important. You need to click, right click the text layer and click convert to pixels. That's what I did wrong. Again, select this layer, come and click there and press backspace. So that should have worked. You can deselect this. Now you can see that our text looks grungy. Now let's turn that a bit so it looks a bit more interesting. Something like that. And you're ready to go and this layer can be deleted. And this is how you can make your text grungy. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.